and welcome back to the Lotus SMP, where I am in the food area that we built last episode, because today we are going to be working on the area right across from the food area, which is going to be our game area. That way, if people don't really want to ride the rides or anything, they can come over here and play some games. Today we have nine buildings that we need to build up, in which eight of them are different games for people to play. I think one of them is just for decoration, and then the rest of them are for actual playing and you can actually do, which is going to be super cool. We have so many different games. Seaman helped me build them so big thanks to seaman for helping me with the game area and doing all the redstone because i absolutely cannot do redstone so to start off this episode we are going to start with the middle building which is the second biggest building that we're gonna have to do and this one is the one that is not a game because this one is going to be our colorland stage so yeah, we are going to start off with that. So let's go and build this stage up. And here we have the Colorland stage. So this stage is just for events, things like that. We thought that Colorland could use a stage area. I actually built this one and I really like how it turned out. So we have these back stage areas with just some barrels and chests for storing the props and costumes, whatever. And we have this motivational sign from the one and only Seaman, <laughs> of course and then it just loops around to the other side and we have two of the stage entrances so you can walk out and be on the stage and do whatever you need to it's definitely a good centerpiece for the game area so next up we are going to take care of these two games right here these two are going to be both functional games so that's going to be cool so yeah let's go and build these two games up And now we have our first two games built. So this one over here is kind of like the one carnival game where you take the hammer and you hit it, see how high you can get a light. But of course, you know, since Minecraft is Minecraft, we will have to use a bow. Or I was thinking maybe a trident could be cool to kind of mix things up because we're gonna have a few games with bows and arrows. And since this is super close, I think it could be a cool challenge. So you just try to hit, see how high you go. And if you hit the bullseye, then you get the bell and a firework that goes up. And then this one is probably my second favorite game out of all of the games we are going to build. This one is called Tidal Wave, I believe. Basically, I have a bow here with some arrows and you try to shoot the targets. If you hit the bullseye, you will get a fish. So the back one is going to give you axolotls, and then the two front ones are going to give you a random tropical fish. I thought it would be cool to combine like that one game at the carnival where you can win a fish and make it into Minecraft. So I gave Seaman the idea and <laughs> he did all the redstone for it and made it work. The next two games we are going to build are these two right here. This game right here is going to be a decoration game. I think the only decorative game in this game area. So let's go and build these up. So now we have two more game stalls built. This one over here is a basketball one, which is why it is not functional. 
it's just for decoration but it looks really cool and then this one over here we have the dunk tank or i would call it dunk a spidey because we have spidey in there so for this one we take some snowballs out of this barrel right here we can stand over here and we can try to hit the target. I am very bad at it right now, as you can see. So I will kind of show you guys what is going to happen if you hit the bullseye. So you hit the bullseye, Spidey falls into the water and bounces back up. It looks really cool. It's a sea themed, as you can see, with the bottle. Seaman built this one and this is probably my favorite game out of all of the ones here. Just because I, I don't know, I like the building of it, but I also like how the dunk tank is actually functional and it just works all on its own. Now we have four different games left to build. So we are going to go and build up these three right here. So we're going to start by building these two with replay and then we will come back and build this one. So let's go and build these game stalls up. And now we have this ice ball game. This is one game that Seaman came up with. And basically you throw an item here and if you lose, it gets sent back to you. But what you wanna do for this game is try to get it into the blue and just stay like that. That means that you won. It's a pretty cool game. I like it a lot. And then over here we have a parkour ladder kind of rock climbing wall. I had this built for a while and I knew I wanted to put it somewhere in Colorland but didn't know where and then when we were thinking about the game area I remembered it and was like oh yeah this is perfect for it. So we have two sides with different rock climbing ladder parkour thing so there's a variety for people to try. We have some white carpet with powdered snow under it for the mats so people don't die when they fall off or take damage but basically you can just climb the wall let's hope that i can actually do this parkour today oh every time i've tested it i've always failed at it so <laughs> we will see ah okay. nope nope oh okay so if you climb the wall you make it up here you can ring the bell and then you can just fall down. It's very cool. I saw like somewhere on Pinterest a rock climbing wall, but it wasn't functional. And I was like, how could I make this rock climbing wall functional? And so I remembered that ladders were a thing and yeah. And ladder parkour is one of my least favorite types of parkour. So it is perfect for color land. But now right here, we have this little area dug out in the ground because this area right here is going to be the next game which is going to be a tic-tac-toe board. So tic-tac-toe has been something on the server since season one where me and Chespi used to just get some item frames and play tic-tac-toe anytime we were just not doing anything and so I figured it would be perfect to have a tic-tac-toe board in Colorland because who doesn't love tic-tac-toe? So we are going to start by putting barrels in the corners. That way we can have somewhere to store the tic-tac-toe pieces. And then there are going to be four different boards for people to play on. And we are going to make this super colorful. And then we're going to put these frog lights in the middle to kind of make the tic-tac-toe board glow. And then we're going to put item frames on the frog lights. So now we have this super colorful tic-tac-toe board with four different spots for people to play. And now one more thing I forgot to build over right in this corner is we are going to build a little balloon cart just to give this area something. So we are going to just build this cart. Of course it's raining. All right, we're just gonna have to build this cart in the rain. So here is just the 
simple balloon cart, but we are going to make it a little bit more fancy and add some balloons. So we're gonna take an end rod and then a color of concrete and do it like this, but we're gonna make them all different heights. And now we have our balloon cart. I had this idea from something I saw on Pinterest, but I made it more survival friendly because originally it had like fence posts and then leads on it. But of course, I don't think you can do that in survival. Eventually, once Colorland is fully done, I am going to be adding some armor stands around just to make Colorland more lively. So I'm definitely going to be putting someone here to work the balloon cart, which will be really cool and actually make it look like it's a person selling the balloons. Now, one more thing I want to bring up is for these two games right here, I talked to Seaman about using the Trident for this game, and we decided that we're going to be switching these two games, so we're going to be using a trident for the dunk tank, and then we are going to be using snowballs for this one, just because the trident kind of fits the sea themed more. Now we have one more building that we need to build up before we are finished with the game area, at least with building the games. I probably saved the best one for last because this one is the biggest building for the game. And so yeah, let's go and build this up. Welcome to the chicken race. We've got Seaman here, and we are going to race some chickens. Yeah. So we got a cool little building up here, and we've got two areas with some chickens and leads. What side do you want to take? I'll go this side, right? You go that side, because I'm right-handed, and you're left-handed. Okay. So, like, makes sense. All right. So then you lead the chickens. All right, Here's you ready? On the lead. Yep. Yeah. All right. Press the button. And now we're ready. Come on, chicken. Oh. The redstone's not working. <laughs> I see the- oh, you know what? This might be with that red- that extra redstone that you had. You see, left. guys, this is why you don't trust me with redstone. Even if it's in a schematic, I still get it wrong. I'll fix it. <laughs> Never trust me with redstone. Alright, take, take two. two. Yeah. Okay, lead the chicken. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. It took so long my chicken laid an egg. Press the button. Okay, well this time I know what it is. <laughs> Never trust me with redstone. Moral of the story today. Take six. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. okay. Now we're ready. What? Oh. Did you didn't tell me to go. Oh. <laughs> take seven. Thing. All right, take Ready? seven. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, chicken. You see, guys, this game is is painful because the chicken does not like to walk on the glass. That truly really means that it's anyone's game, though, at this point, which is good, be considering how weird that turn is for the yellow side. Yeah. I mean, the turn isn't too bad, honestly. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's like a slight delay. The green is a little bit faster, but this is the thing that, like, really <laughs> makes it neck and neck. Yep. <laughs> Marty region. Because this chicken won't stay on the... <laughs> this is the hay squid rage. The side that I, I won when testing was the green side, so I know that's possible. <laughs> Look, oh, okay. No, no one can winning, be as cool as you, okay? I, I did it. Come on, chicken. Do not fall. If you fall, I'm gonna actually kill you. Just kidding. Oh! oh! You did it. Okay. Woo! Uh oh <laughs> well my chicken died well there you have the chicken game very fun yeah. and it'll definitely it's work pain it's painful this was just the testing and now we have seaman to repair it and yeah yeah 
I'm the chicken repairman. And so now the whole game area is finally finished. This area came out super well. I love all of the games and it is going to be a lot of fun playing them whenever Colorland opens. Thank you again to Seaman for helping me build this area as well as repairing all of my redstone veils. Next episode will be our final episode of building Colorland and by the end of that episode Colorland will basically be done unless I need to finish some little things off camera but for the most part it it will be done. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!